Let's start by getting to know the different parts of your pen and needle. This is the pen cap, the pen scale, the pen window where you can see Zoltify 103.6. This is the dose counter and dose pointer. Here's the dose selector, and this is the dose button. This is the Novo Fine needle, and this is the Novo Fine Plus needle. This is the outer needle cap, the inner needle cap, the needle, and the paper tab. Now you are ready to go through the steps for how to inject Zoltify 103.6 with your pen. Preparing your Zoltify 103.6 pen. Wash your hands with soap and water. Before you start to prepare your injection, check the Zoltify 103.6 pen label before each use to make sure it is your Zoltify 103.6 pen. Zoltify 103.6 should look clear and colorless. Do not use Zoltify 103.6 if it is cloudy or colored. Do not use Zoltify 103.6 past the expiration date printed on the label or 21 days after you start using the pen. Always use a new needle for each injection to help ensure sterility and prevent blocked needles. Do not reuse or share needles with another person. You may give other people a serious infection or get a serious infection from them. Pull the pen cap straight off. Check the liquid in the pen. Zoltify 103.6 should look clear and colorless. Do not use it if it looks cloudy or colored. Select a new needle. Pull off the paper tab from the outer needle cap. Push the capped needle straight onto the pen and twist the needle on until it is tight. Pull off the outer needle cap. Do not throw it away. Pull off the inner needle cap and throw it away. Priming your Zoltify 103.6 pen. Turn the dose selector to select the priming symbol. Hold the pen with the needle pointing up. Tap the top of the pen gently a few times to let any air bubbles rise to the top. Hold the pen with the needle pointing up. Press and hold in the dose button until the dose counter shows zero. The zero must line up with the dose pointer. A drop of Zoltify 103.6 should be seen at the needle tip. If you do not see a drop of Zoltify 103.6, repeat this priming procedure no more than six times until a drop of Zoltify 103.6 appears at the needle tip. If you still do not see a drop of Zoltify 103.6, Change the needle and repeat the priming procedure once more. Selecting your dose. Make sure you prime your pen before setting your dose. The Zoltify 103.6 pen is made to deliver the number of units that your healthcare provider prescribed. Take your dose exactly as your healthcare provider tells you to. Do not change your dosing schedule without first talking to your healthcare provider. Turn the dose selector to select the dose you need to inject. The dose pointer should line up with your dose. In this example, a dose of 16 is selected. If you select the wrong dose, you can turn the dose selector forwards or backwards to the correct dose. In this example, a dose of 27 is selected. The even numbers are printed on the dial. The odd numbers are shown as lines. The Zoltify 103.6 pen scale will show you how much Zoltify 103.6 is left in your pen. To see how much Zoltify 103.6 is left in your pen, turn the dose selector until it stops. The dose counter will line up with the dose that is left in your pen. If the dose counter shows 50, there is a dose of at least 50 units left in your pen. If the dose counter shows between 10 and 50, the number shown in the dose counter is the total units left in your pen. If there is not enough Zoltify 103.6 left in your pen for a full dose, do not use it. 
use a new Zoltify 103.6 pen. In this example, there is only a dose of 42 units left, so the dose counter stops and you can't dial past 42. Giving your injection. Inject your Zoltify 103.6 exactly as your healthcare provider has shown you. Your healthcare provider should tell you if you need to pinch the skin before injecting. Zoltify 103.6 can be injected under the skin, subcutaneously, of your stomach area, abdomen, upper legs, thighs, or upper arms. Change, rotate your injection sites within the area you choose for each dose. Do not use the same injection site for each injection. Choose your injection site, stomach, upper legs, or upper arms, and wipe the skin with an alcohol swab. Let the injection site dry before you inject your dose. Insert the needle into your skin. Make sure you can see the dose counter. Do not cover it with your fingers. This can stop your injection. Press and hold down the dose button until the dose counter shows zero. The zero must line up with the dose pointer. You may hear or feel a click. Keep the needle in your skin after the dose counter has returned to zero and slowly count to six. Count slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six. When the dose counter returns to zero, you will not get your full dose until six seconds later. If the needle is removed before you count to six, you may see a stream of Zoltify 103.6 coming from the needle tip. If you see a stream of Zoltify 103.6 coming from the needle tip, you will not get your full dose. If this happens, you should check your blood sugar levels more often because you may need more Zoltify 103.6. Pull the needle out of your skin. If you see blood after you take the needle out of your skin, Press the injection site lightly with a piece of gauze or an alcohol swab. Do not rub the area. Carefully remove the needle from the pen after each use and throw it away. Do not recap the needle. Recapping the needle can lead to needle stick injury. If you do not have a sharps container, carefully slip the needle into the outer needle cap. Safely remove the needle and throw it away as soon as you can. Do not store the pen with the needle attached. Storing without the needle attached helps prevent leaking, blocking of the needle, and air from entering the pen. Replace the pen cap by pushing it straight on.